If you have an iPhone and you have your guitar connected like you always do, you can load tone prints and it literally takes seconds to do. When we decided to do an app and we talked about that for a long time, we knew that we'd have to be something where you didn't have to buy extra cables or weird Bluetooth adapters or suddenly starting to put Wi-Fi connectors into the pedals or something silly like that. Apps are something you want to try out right away and we kind of knew that uh, to do an app we had to figure out a really cool way of transferring it without it requiring some kind of custom cable and stuff that people won't buy. So the entire guitar team, which consists of, of 10 engineers and, and myself, we, we went down to this uh, brewery in Aarhus where they serve giant steaks and homemade beer. And after roughly, I don't know, four or five really big beers, we started talking about that, uh, that whole idea again and for some odd reason somebody, I can't remember who, somebody said something along the lines of, you know, started talking about this old modem technology where you can, you know, remember all these old beep sounds and we kind of figured maybe we can use that as, as the basis for the tone print app and it just built from there and we actually figured it's actually pretty simple. We took a phone, a guitar and a guitar amplifier and we wanted to test if audio could get through the system. So I take some music, move it over the pickups, and as you can hear, the audio is coming through the amplifier. Uh, it's magnetic magnetism projection from the, from, the, from the speaker inside the iPhone that goes into the pickup. It's not sound, so you could have a drummer standing right next to it. So we had to make sure that it worked with active pickups, with single coils, filtertrons, and all these different kinds of pickups. For that purpose, we built this test bench to be able to make comparable measurement on the different type of pickups. Could we have a measurement on the pickup number 8? It's a Fender Tex-Mex. Yes, no problem. I'll transmit the tone print while, um, while the robot goes down. Great. Downwards. <coughs> Through again? Yes. Great. So what it does is that it takes the magnetic projection coming out of the speaker and it sends data encoders as audio. So that is weird screechy sound that you hear on your modem, for example. And it sends it through the speaker into the pickup, through the cable, which I don't have plugged in right now, into the pedal. It's actually to the point now where we actually talked about having a refrigerator in the in the office with beer just in case we need a new good idea. We'll just pop open a couple of uh, Carlsberg and, and go from there. <laughs> 